Hello friends, how are you all? We're all right, aren't we Ole? We are looking forward very much to next week and having everybody back in school. We're so ridiculously excited about it. But I know that some of you can't wait to come back to school. Some of you are looking forward to coming back to school but are having a little bit of a wobble, a wobble about it. And some of you are probably having a bit more of a wobble about it. And your wobble might be about the fact that you haven't been in school for about 11 weeks. It might be because you're going to miss your grown-ups. It might be because you're worried about, are you gonna to have to come back to work and school and do loads and loads of work and it's gonna be really hard. And what I want to do today is try and reassure you a bit because actually, do you know what? You have got really super duper teachers in all of our classes, aren't we lucky? We've got super teachers, super classroom staff. And when you come back, they're going to hear you read, they're going to help you with your writing, they're going to help you with your maths. And there might be things that they go, oh, this person, YOLO, is a bit stuck on his number bonds. Right, we'll work on that. But it's all going to be really easy. Nobody's coming, going to expect you to come back and just to go right back like it was in December. We know that you've had this bit long time not being in school. And so what we've done is we've said, right, what do we need to do? We need the children to have lots of time playing. We need the children to have lots of time talking to each other. And, you know, just spending that time with your friends because you haven't been able to do that over the last few weeks. And that's been really rubbish. And that's really important, isn't it? Playing with your friends is really important. Talking with your friends is really important. And so we have planned in loads of that sort of thing. So a bit like when some of you came back last June, it's going to feel a bit like, so in the afternoons, you might do a bit of, a bit of geography, you might go outside, do a bit of science, but then there's going to be lots of time, like it's going to be a bit like golden time every day in the afternoons. And that's really important time where you'll get to choose, we've bought some new, new things, some year two. <gasps> year two's got some more Lego. I think one class didn't have any Lego at all, which is disastrous. But now you have, so we've got Lego, We've bought new small world stuff. So we've got loads of things for you to do in school and for you to play, because that is really important. And if anybody ever says to you, play is not important, it definitely, definitely is. So it's all gonna be fine. That's what I want to say to you. And if you're having a bit of a wobble, you know that you can always talk to somebody in your classroom, one of the grown-ups in your classroom, and say, I'm having a bit of a wobble. And they'll be there for you, and they'll be able to, you know, do whatever they need to do, because they might have to give you a cuddle. <laughs> or they might just hear you read, or they might just talk to you. Yolo is very excited. Yolo is hoping that some children might come and take him for a walk outside and throw his ball. Um, so there are all sorts of things. So just... Try not to worry if you're having a worry. I'm hoping that most of you are more excited than worried. Right, that's enough waffle from me, isn't it, Yolo? I have got a very short story for you. <laughs> oh, some things never change. So, do you remember one of my favouritest, favouritest authors, more I could? So this is called When Grandad Was a Penguin. Yolo staring. Granddad's not really turned, Grandpa's not turned into a penguin, I promise. He hasn't really, it's just a story. Don't panic. Yolo loves Grandpa. Last time I went to stay with Grandad, he seemed a little different. He talked a lot about fishing. I didn't know penguins caught fish like that. But, you know, if more I could says that's how they catch fish, then that's how they catch fish. His clothes didn't fit so well. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, not sure that's how you wear a sock, is it, Yolo? And he spent a lot of time in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm not sure that's a nice place to sit. I'm not sure I'd like to sit in the toilet. Perhaps he was just getting older. Oh, that does look like fun. Whee! But I kept finding him in the strangest places. It was all a bit fishy. 
Then one day the zoo called. I think there might have may have been a bit of a mix up. So we went to the zoo to sort it out. Ah. The penguin went back to the penguin enclosure. And Grandad came home with me. I think that grandpa is a bit of a liability. Honestly, that, that, that grandpa needs looking after a bit better, I think. If you were going to lose your grandpa at the zoo and had to take home an animal instead of your grandpa or your granddad, which animal would you want to bring home? Not the lion. Please tell me not the lion. Uh, right. I am sending you all my love, as always. Yolo is sending all of his love on you, Yolo. Um, how many sleeps is it? So Wednesday, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Only five more sleeps till you are back in school and everything will feel a little bit more normal. As normal as it ever gets around here, hey. Uh, so yeah, have a great five days. If I can do another video, I will. But otherwise, I will write your grown-ups at the end of this week just to make clear everything ready for next week. But it's all pretty much going to feel like it was in December, children. Pretty much. Apart from early years, you're going to be in your separate class bubbles. But other than that, we're going on as we were. We were doing all right. We'll be all right. Sending you all the love. Mwah.